Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Petey and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. For today's video, as the weather's getting a bit warmer and it's getting sunnier and nicer, I thought I would set up a little spring fate for my Sylvanians. I figure fates are probably quite a regular occurrence in Sylvania since it's a very good excuse for everyone to have a bit of a get together and a nice day out. So I've set up a little scene here on my um, temporary table and I thought I would film it and take you through it um, before I have to pack it away. I always like to try and um, video document my scenes as much as possible so I've got them for if I want to look back on them. So the main pieces that I'm using for this setup today are from a little mini range called the Village Fate series and that was put out by Flair as I believe a UK exclusive in around about 2008. So the main product in the range was this marquee here with the blue and white striped roof. Then there was also this little hooker duck stool and a bouncy castle. I don't have the bouncy castle but I'll pop a picture of it here as long as I'm able to find one. And those three little products just made up this little mini range and Flair used to do that quite often, these kind of little mini ranges so it'd be like a day at the seaside and then there'd be a few pieces that would go with that or like the Grand Hotel and then there'd be some pieces to go with that and I kind of really miss those kind of almost like um, little mini themed releases they don't seem to do that so much anymore I guess they still kind of do it but not with the variety that we used to see um, when Flair was managing the brand so Fates are still a thing here in the UK even in this day and age especially in villages and kind of small towns and I think this particular range kind of really resonated with memories from my childhood. I think Flair was really great at capturing those quintessentially village lifey kind of scenes and, and things you'd want to be able to create those kind of scenes with so and this that's definitely true of this particular range. But yes enough of me talking let's go in and take a closer look and I'll talk you through the scene. So first of all over here on the left hand side I've set up kind of a little food vendor section and we've got Barbara Dale here with her popcorn bike, Elsie Buttercup with her ice cream bike and Dolly Dale with her candy floss bike. So you can get all ma manner of your sweet treats and such over here and they seem to have quite a crowd gathered round. Then if we move along slightly so here we seem to have caught the Osborne Bear family and like father like son they seem to have got themselves plenty of sweet treats to be going on with to enjoy the day with. And then just in the background here is the hooker duck stall. So in my village this stall is run by Mr Puddleford who you can just see here in the brown hat and he has quite a quirky sense of humour hence why he's set up this particular kind of stand. And the Whisker family here are trying their luck, but it's okay because you do get a prize every time. So no one's going to be disappointed here. And one of the fun features about this stool is if you turn this little piece on the top here, the ducks actually move around. Which is just a nice uh, feature I think that they've added to this to make it just all the more detailed. I also like how much the um, the plastic that they've got here actually looks like water. I think they've done a really good job on kind of recreating this kind of stand in real life. Then if we move over to the right hand side and we'll come back to the marquee in a at the end. So here is the little baby teacup ride and the Dale children are having a go on that and their mother is just here watching them. So with this there's a little uh, knob at the back here that you turn around and it makes the teacup spin around and around, which is fun. Um, this is the Japanese edition coloration, it's more of a pastel colour whereas the western version that got released was more primary colours, so like uh, red, yellow and blue I think, whereas this has got pinks and kind of softer colours. I do actually prefer this colourway for this particular piece. So here we have the Bouncy Castle. Now this isn't the official Sylvania Bouncy Castle. This one I actually made and you can probably tell because it's quite rough around the edges. 
but this I made from a pattern that was available on the Sylvanian Storekeepers website and um, pending it still being available I will pop a link to that in the video description. It's really good instructions, really easy to follow and if I can make it uh, anyone can I would say. It gives you all of the pattern pieces and it gives you step by step instructions of how to do it. So that was just a fun little project. Since I wasn't a massive fan of the colours of the official Sylvanian bouncy castle, I didn't think it, it was quite pastel and I remember a lot of yellows and greens and it didn't seem to fit so well in with the rest of the range so I decided I wanted to do red and white so it goes with the kind of with the hooker duck stool and with the flags on the top of the marquee and this is uh, stuffed just with fabric so just soft toy stuffing so they can bounce on it see it's a little bit hard to pose them and it was very difficult to get anybody to stand up hence why they're all kind of leaning against the sides and here we've got the tuxedo family and the sisters are running to get on the bouncy castle and their mother is shouting out please don't be please be careful please don't fall over and hurt yourselves and then in the middle here we have the main attraction of the fate. So in the marquee are kind of all the events that go on through the fate. So there's probably the colouring competitions for the children. There's probably a fancy dress competition. Maybe some live music and a bit of a buffet and a party at the end of the night. But right now it is the annual spring vegetables and baking competition. So the mayor in the middle here is keeping this rather large crowd all up to date with what's going on in the tent. On the left hand side here is the vegetable competition. Judging hasn't started here yet so Mr Snow Warren and Mr Grunt are popping their vegetables down onto the table to get ready for the event to start and Penley Buttercup just at the back there he's going to be doing the judging for that one. However, judging is currently underway for the baking competition. So you can see Mrs. Cakebread here and the mayoress are the judges and they're having a look at all the cakes and pies and baked goods that have been submitted to that competition and they are discussing who's going to win. So with this marquee, you do actually get um, the stage in the middle with the little microphone and these two tables with the vegetables and the cakes. So I can't profess that that was my idea that's what they gave you to kind of accessorise and decorate this um, particular building with. I don't have the box for this one as I got it second hand but I figure on the box it's probably explaining kind of just what I've explained to you just now. Um, but the good thing about this building is you could also use this for weddings so you could take everything out and pop some wedding furniture in there and have it as a wedding marquee or you could really set it up any way that you would like to, any sort of marquee. There is a later release, I think it was 2012, of this building and the bottom of the building is pretty much the same but then the top has uh, like a hard plastic roof and it's red and white and that came out with the wedding range of items. I do like this particular one though because it's got this fabric roof and inside is kind of a framework, almost like a tent framework to make it stand up but I like that the roof is fabric and I like how it looks. I think it really helps it to look more like a marquee. So yes that's the little setup that I've done most recently. I think I said at the beginning but this is my temporary table so nothing on this table say it stays set up permanently and it also doesn't stay set up for very long so I'll probably end up taking this down now but it's just nice to have it on video and be able to remember that I did this particular setup and if I wanted to recreate it I've got kind of enough detail to be able to do that and also take some pictures of it. So I hope you've enjoyed um, having a look at this scene with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now!